Breaking MSNBC caught on hot mic sexually harassing Melania by Al Waisman for FreedomDaily.com. And another so-called feminist bites the dust. On Saturday evening, it was reported that NBC has confirmed through a spokesman that the company made a payment to Chris Matthews' staffer after she accused the left-wing media host of sexual harassment. The spokesman added the staffer was producer who uh, accused Chris Matthews of making sexually inappropriate comments about her when uh, she worked on his show in 1999. The woman worked as an assistant producer on the news show Hardball with uh, Chris Matthews, which at the time was on CNBC. As soon as the improprieties took place, she reported to CNBC executives that Matthews was making lewd jokes and remarks to other people about her. Executives then fully investigated the matter and dealt with it as soon as it was discovered that the accuser was indeed telling the truth. They made the accusations disappear by giving the woman a $40,000 check. None of this comes as a surprise to those of us on the right since the so-called liberal who stands for women's rights actually got caught on live mic, once making lewd remarks about the wife of then presidential candidate Donald Trump, Melania, during a live MSNBC broadcast. Take a quick listen. Only the candidate can make And the party decision. will trust Trump to be able to make that decision. Well, I think the party will have a role in it. Is there one? We, uh, Runway we one. just uh, Runway heard from the likely one. nominee of the Republican Party. Um, we will go to a break here. I the the discussion nominee. continues right after this. I really couldn't make out too much, but I guess they know what they're talking about. Uh, via Variety, sexual harassment scandals force media companies to become the news. David Falkenflick has uh, what some might call a plum assignment as NPR's media correspondent. He can on one day find himself interviewing the editor of the New York Times and on another analyzing whether AT&T will ever be able to acquire Time Warner but sometimes he must uh, take on a more daunting task. After the Washington Post revealed in October that two women alleged NPR's then senior vice president of news, Michael Oreskes, uh, had sexually harassed them while working at the New York Times, Falcon Flick had to turn his reporter's gaze on his own employer. It's not the first time he's had to investigate goings-on at NPR, but this particular story was a tough one to tell. I would say this is complicated because it involves, among other things, the interactions of people on a human scale, and those people are often folks who are familiar to the audience and to those of us doing the reporting and editing, said Falkenflick, at, and that's sobering. But the reports are also riveting. The media knows its audience, wants to hear more. Between the time allegations first surfaced about movie mogul Harvey Weinstein in early October and November 20th, the evening news programs of ABC, NBC, and CBS devoted a total of 218 minutes to sexual harassment stories on their weekday nightly newscasts, according to Andrew Tyndall, an industry consultant who monitors the program's coverage. The lion's share of that coverage has gone to news about accusations leveled at Weinstein and Alabama U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore. Over the same time period, the probe into Russian influence on the U.S. presidential election drew 85 minutes of coverage. The wildfires in California, wine country, 82 minutes, and the Baptist Church Massacre in Texas, 67 minutes, Tyndall reports. Covering the spate of harassment scandals that has followed the Weinstein disclosure has forced some media outlets to examine themselves too. 
CBS News has placed Charlie Rose, the former co-host of CBS This Morning, under a uh, microscope since disclosures surfaced again in the Washington Post about eight complaints by women alleging Rose harassed them. MSNBC's Micah Brzezinski had the uh, uh, unenviable uh, task of outlining the fate of Mark Halpern, a longtime contributor to Morning Joe after CNN disclosed past allegations of sexual harassment against him. Says Chris McComber, an assistant professor of sociology and criminology at Meredith College, a woman's liberal arts college in Raleigh, New, uh, North Carolina. We are in the midst of a cultural shift, and the media is right there, not just showing it, but experiencing it too. In many cases, the media outlets aren't the first to alert the public to misbehavior by executives in their organizations. But once revelations surface, they have little choice but to explain to the viewers what's happening and to pursue the story rigorously. Both CBS Evening News and CBS This Morning offered little sentimentality uh, in reporting allegations against Rose. Indeed, CBS News staffers found new accusations from three women at the network that the Post had not included in its original report. A person familiar with the matter said those women were discovered by CBS News reporters and were not immediately known to management. The efforts made for for uh, uh, startling television. One day after the first allegations against Rose surfaced, his co-host on CBS this morning, Gail King, and Nora O'Donnell condemned the behavior described in the Post report on air. This will be investigated. This has to end. This behavior is wrong, period, said O'Donnell. King also expressed uneasiness with her now former colleague. This is not the man I know, but I'm clearly on the side of the women who have been very hurt and very damaged by this, she said. The episode repeated itself a week later when co-anchors Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Cobb Uh, clearly shaken, informed viewers in the opening moments of the November 29th broadcast of NBC's Today that Matt Lauer had been fired for inappropriate sexual behavior. In other instances, stories about misconduct have put news organizations on the defensive. NBC News found itself having to explain why reporting that started under its Aegis by Roman Farrow on Weinstein ended up being published by the New Yorker. More uncomfortable still, the situation was inflamed by an appearance Farrow made on MSNBC's Rachel Maddow show, where the host asked Farrow the same question. You would have to ask NBC and NBC executives about the details, he replied. Meanwhile, Megyn Kelly's new morning show on NBC has been among the most active in keeping up with the news on sexual harassment since allegations against Weinstein surfaced. Kelly has hit the topic hard nearly every day. She's on the air. She has won exclusive interviews with accusers of Weinstein and Halpern, as well as women who have uh, leveled allegations against Bill O'Reilly, Brett Ratner, and Kevin Spacey. Kelly's ratings among viewers between 25 and 54, the audience most uh, coveted by advertisers in news programming, reached a new high this week on November 20th. She has also made remarks about her experiences with sexual harassment at Fox News and about her interactions with Rose. Covering these incidents will continue to be challenged uh, for uh, media companies, notes NPR's Falcon Flick. When reporting on internal matters, staffers tend to get distracted, even uh, wound up about information that hits close to home, but NPR has protocols in place so that proper coverage is ensured, he says. 
There's also a feeling of responsibility to listeners who are interested in how NPR conducts itself, he adds. Media outlets that find sexual harassment cases within their own walls, he says, have the obligation to confront fairly and fully issues like this if they are going to have the standing uh, to challenge it in others. What is really fascinating about all this is how these left-wing hosts go on cable news day in and day out, attacking the right while they have so much to hide. The arrogance and elitism in these people run so deep that they actually believe they will never get caught. This is not the way normal men act, and it's not the way society is, yet these same people tell us how we're supposed to live our lives, what we are supposed to think, and what is and isn't moral. If we disagree with them, we get branded as bigots, racists, or Nazis. Please share if you agree the elite media needs to just go away. Well, it's uh, frightening what's coming out lately. They're really pushing this uh, sexual harassment. But I couldn't make out on the video clip. I couldn't really make it out, but I guess they know uh, what they're saying about this. It seems to be true. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.